And one of my guilty pleasures certainly is my sauna. I oftentimes do one in the morning and in the evening. So I'll just chill in here and uh, guess what? This morning I actually went into the incubator, found something pretty amazing. One eternity later. Now that I'm feeling really kind of refreshed from the sauna, what do you say we go inside and take a look in the incubator and see what's hatching? Hey Speedy, what are you doing? How you doing today? It's good to see you. Getting some sun? Looking good. And by the way, if you guys are interested, uh, we are doing a redo of Speedy's Palace over on Noah's channel. Uh, we've already done two episodes of tearing down and building up. Uh, we are on to the actual next part of building the pen. So uh, definitely put a link in the description. Check out Noah's channel. It's a pretty cool series. Oh, and by the way, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the starter day is absolutely incredible. We still have a bunch of eggs to hatch here, but I have been anticipating these hatching for a long time. And take a look at guys. I realize all you can see is some slits right now. You see slits here, slits here, slits here, slits here. Well, guess what these eggs are? That's right. These are Nova and Lilith's babies. Our little baby frillies are about to hatch. So we'll keep an eye on these for the rest of the day. Check back on them because I have a feeling that all seven of these eggs are going to be hatched out by the end of the day. And we're going to see some baby frill dragons. What an amazing way to start the day. So what do you say we pack these eggs up, head over to the shop, and have a great day together? All right. So back at the shop here, and I want to check on the little baby frillies and see if anything's going on. Yeah, you can see they're definitely starting to pip out a little bit. That is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, the majority of them are still in the egg. So I'm going to leave them alone for the next couple hours, uh, see what happens. We'll check back on them later on today and uh, see the little baby frillies. It's always super exciting. I cannot wait till these babies hatch out. Wanted to give you guys a little update now that the little baby Savu pythons have eaten a few times. They are definitely amazing. And again, you can already see the little bit of changing of color. They were much more red as babies. Now that they went through one or two little sheds and are eating good, they're just a little bit different color. Uh, they're getting a little bit more orange, a little less red. And again, they're going to go through that octogenic change and basically turn more like a grayish brown color with freckling on them. Absolutely wonderful animals. Look at how feisty this little monkey is too. I love these little sabus and lots of people have been asking, are we going to sell them? I haven't even sexed them out yet. I've just been like, let's just keep them all. But I don't know. I'll probably sex them out. Maybe I'll sell one or two of them. I'm I'm not 100% sure. I know if Lori had it up to her, she would sell them all, but I just love them and I want to raise them up because I think they're so cool. Not to mention, I think it'll be kind of cool to show you guys the progression of color change over the next six to eight months. Came down checking for snake eggs today. Of course, Quinn's always down here checking before me, so he kind of preempts it, which is good. I like that. And uh, I uh, once again came across this note. Brian, no new eggs today. They must know I know they're listening. But who is they? The Illuminati? Aliens? Kevin from Nerd? I'll continue searching for answers. So Quinn's on this. I mean, he's going to keep us protected from the uh, Illuminati aliens and Kevin at Nerd. So uh, at least you guys can rest easy that uh, we're in good shape over here. This clutch was actually the Blue Eyed Lucistic that was a lesser Russo and it was bred to a super pastel hidden gene Woma. And we hatched out some really cool stuff. So again, because it's a Blue Eyed Lucistic, everything has to be either lesser or Russo. And of course, this is the Soul Sucker Russo, what they would call the Russo Sucker here. We actually had a few of them in here. Look at that one right there. Woohoo, doggy. I tell you what, that thing is crazy. And then we even hatched another one right here that is so cool. I mean, look at how busy the pattern in is really cool. And then we just had a couple pastel lessers right here, a little uh, pastel Russo right here, and then another Russo sucker here. So all in all, this clutch was really cool. You know you're going to get good stuff when you have the blue-eyed leucistic gene in there, but I was really happy with the odds with all those Russo suckers. I actually showed you the first Barney ball python that hatched out, and I was a little bit disappointed. I I'm going to be honest with you, this Barney ball python from another clutch is actually much better. A lot more purple in it, a lot more what I, I was expecting them to look like. So although the first clutch was a little bit of a disappointment, this one actually is pretty darn cool. Again, not a solid purple snake, but still pretty purple, got a lot of purple hues to it. I like that a lot. And speaking about liking a lot, look at this one right here. This is actually a banana super chocolate. Now it's one of my favorite banana mutations, absolutely incredible. We raised some of these up the other year and they were incredible. Incredible. Of course, we have a little camo ball python here, which is where the Barney ball kind of hole started from, right? Thinking that that one would be it. And then, of course, we have a banana chocolate spinner here. So, oh, and this is actually a pastel super chocolate right here. So, a lot of really cool snakes in this clutch. That chocolate gene, the banana gene, all that stuff mixes so well together. I'm super happy that this Barney ball is definitely much cooler than the first one. This is a pretty interesting clutch. This is actually a het creamsicle scaleless clutch. So, we have some creamsicles, we have some heads, but then we have this animal right here. 
and I'm gonna get it in the water just to see what it looks like, but I think this is actually a snow, and it absolutely is. That's a snow scaleless. But interestingly enough, the snow creamsicle stuff is what they call green spots, because instead of just being all white like a normal snow corn, when they get bigger, they get a little bit of green in them, and that's because of that emery influence on the creamsicle side. So this is actually a scaleless snow green spot, which is pretty awesome. Never seen one of those. And as it gets bigger, I'm really interested to see how the green comes out with that scale of stuff, right? Never seen one before. I'm gonna raise this one up and see what it looks like in six or eight months. Take a look at this. This is a big old clutch of Puebla milk snakes. These are apricot, 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 whatever you wanna call them, milk snakes right here. And they're all really pretty nice ones. Some are cleaner than others, but I tell you what, if I started to get these things around, it's like a bee's nest. As soon as they start going, they'd be all over the place. I'd be chasing them around for about the next hour. So I'm just gonna admire them from a far but unfortunately there's 11 of them in here which means Lori has to set up 11 of these guys and she has to rile them up and I can guarantee you there's going to probably be a couple swear words going out uh, when she's setting these guys up because not only are they fast and they zip all over the place but they also like to bite and pee on you too great animals as they get older but as babies they're a little bit feisty but they are absolutely gorgeous well it's been a few hours so let's go ahead and check on these guys and look at oh my gosh there's a little baby out oh my gosh but you know what the one thing that i remember last time when we hatched these guys it was so stressful because look at you see these heads sticking out these little things they've all pipped out but they're not moving and look at this guy right here i remember thinking that they hatched out and they all died i was all freaked out but watch this watch this you just go like this boop and now he's up and running and going like crazy it's just weird. I don't know why they hatch out like that. They actually do it. And bearded dragons do the same thing with their heads kind of sticking out like this. And they kind of look like they're dead. And it freaks you out. But it looks like we got two little babies out of the egg right now. It'll probably take a day, day and a half for the rest of these guys to crawl out. But how awesome is that? We've got baby frilled dragons again. And they are so absolutely adorable. Guess what, Nova? You're a daddy again. He, I tell you what, he is such an amazing animal ambassador. I mean, he's always just checking us out, hanging out at the front. This guy is so absolutely amazing and every one of his babies has turned out to be an incredible animal. Right off the rip we're going to start kind of habituating them to people and that's why I think they turn out so good. So I think number one the fact that they have amazing genes with of course my guy Nova here and the fact that we socialize them right off the bat turns them into amazing animals. So what do you think? Are you happy to be a dad? I don't know. It seems like he's happy. So we got another gargoyle baby. <laughs> so this one I believe sh it should be a stripe we'll see when it comes out but both the parents were stripes this one's not from a super high color pairing or anything but it'll be someone's cool pet it should be a black and white stripe uh, the parents are both black and white stripes so yeah he's just chilling um he's been in there for a couple hours we'll see when he wants to come all the way out I'm just letting him take his time though <laughs> This is a pretty cool clutch of eggs here. We got, what, two, four, six, eight eggs. It's actually a Het Russo bred to a Hidden Gene Woma. Remember the other day we caught that clutch that was lesser bred to a Hidden Gene Woma, and we ended up producing that pastel soul sucker? Well, you can actually get what they call Russo soul suckers out of this. Basically the same kind of complex. The soul suckers with the lessers are a little bit better, but the Russo soul suckers are still pretty cool. So uh, one little head was sticking out here, so let's go ahead and just jump in and see what we have. Here we go, first egg. Let's see what we're going to get here. Um, hmm. Looks like, I, I I honestly think it looks like a normal ball python. I'm not sure if it's, it's a Russo. It could potentially be a Russo, but it looks like it might be a normal ball python. So we didn't start out with a bang, but we still have plenty of eggs to go, so let's keep going. All right, let's see if the second egg is a little bit better than the first egg. Uh, yeah, it looks like we just have a normal pastel here. Maybe a pastel. Probably a pastel Russo, actually. So, uh, so yeah, we just missed the hidden gene woma because again, the hidden gene woma is a pastel hidden gene woma. That's where that pastel gene comes from. Uh, let's keep going until we get something awesome. And don't get me wrong, every time we cut a clutch of eggs, every snake you have in there, even if it's a normal, is considered awesome to me. And this is definitely this is the the, the, the animal we were kind of hoping for, which is the pastel Russo soul sucker, if that makes any sense. So, uh, cool animal. I mean, definitely really awesome. Not as cool as the soul sucker lesser stuff, but that. That's it, that, that's basically, that was the all gene animal. So we're lucky that we finally hit that and we still have a bunch of eggs to go. So let's just keep going. I always like producing that one animal, that all gene animal, cause then you just kind of, it's like that relief. Like, all right, I at least hit that, right? Let's see what else we have. Uh, again, just a kind of a Russo ball python, most likely, maybe even a normal, hard to say. Uh, odds haven't been great on that stuff today, but that's all right, we still have four eggs to go. And it's been an interesting year like this where some clutches seem to really whiff 
and other clutches seem to be crazy slaying. Uh, another pastel, possible Russo, but nothing too crazy there, uh, but definitely a pastel. This was the one baby that actually had pipped, so we can kind of cut into this and see what's going on here, kind of get an idea of what we have. Uh, again, a Russo or maybe possibly a normal, so we haven't had any hidden gene Woma stuff at all, with the exception of that all gene animal, which is kind of weird. So two eggs to go, let's do this. This egg's kind of hiding at the bottom here, so we don't have much much to go on here. Uh, that actually looks like a pastel, I mean, you can barely see it, but that definitely looks like a pastel hidden gene Woma there. So it's just hiding on the very bottom, but that definitely looks like a pastel hidden gene Woma. One egg to go. Can we hit another all gene animal, please? Here we go. And no, another normal-ish ball fight that maybe have Russo. So this clutch was definitely not a great odds clutch, to be honest, with you, because we've got a lot of normally looking animals. But again, that's the way it goes, ups and downs. We have some clutches that kill it. We have some clutches that kind of are a little bit of a letdown. You have that during the course there. You can never have too many highs or too many lows. You just try to ride the middle. And uh, hey, still, good babies are good babies. Continuing the spree of unboxing here. Thank you guys for always sending us so much cool stuff. I'm a huge fan and watch your series regularly. I wanted to send you a small gift to thank you for being so awesome. Thank you, Christy Frank. I appreciate that. And what does this say? Make, make today, today awesome. awesome. I like that. And another make today awesome. Make today awesome. Perfect. I do. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> I got, can I take these gloves <laughs> off now? Nope, mm -hmm. not I gotta yet. keep the gloves on. If you okay. have the knife, You're you I have the knife. <laughs> when I unbox snakes, do I have to wear yes. the knife? Okay. All right, we got another shirt. I got a whole new wardrobe yes, going do. on here. Yes, you do. Oh, Oh my god, this is so awesome. Slow jam. <laughs> oh my god, That's I funny. love it. This it is doesn't dope. have a name, doesn't it just came gnome. straight from Coles. But thank uh, you. Well, thank you so much. I love it. You'll definitely be seeing me with this shirt. That is so dope. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple more shirts. Oh, this is cute. I don't ask a lot of you, but I need more tanks. Oh my God, fish that's actually Fish tank pretty. addicts. Fish tank that's addicts. That's funny, that's Thank super you. cute. I have that one shirt that says something like, I ask a lot of questions. Yeah. And like, a lot of people didn't understand what, because it, it doesn't even say, I. it just has I, and then it asks a lot of questions. Thank you so much. I don't know if these will come together, but Blue's Clues is from oh. me too. Ah, uh, this is our so. friend Rhonda. How to be a better boss, okay. tips, and <laughs> tips and techniques from the dark side of the forest. I'll, I'll, I'll remember that, Ron. So <laughs> Thank you like so there's much. Another one there's another one in too. here too. I remember she said something about sending a blues clue thing. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Oh, this is a mask, this is dope. That's a dope oh one. wait, those are the ones I ordered. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't. Let me let me try that out. Seriously, they did come. I thought it was from China. It would never come. I ordered three of them. This is way too thick. Oh, because it has to bend, that's why. Jesus. It bends on your nose. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> Looks great. You, look, you literally look like Darth Vader. <laughs> how's, how's it look? Is it? It's great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is no, it, it actually looks Is it cool. good or is it bad? It's not bad, to be totally honest with you. It feels pretty comfortable. Is it better than the other one? Yeah, you, you, get, you get a lot more air. You get okay. a lot more air. But uh, yeah, I mean, the nose part is a little tight, but the air part is really good. So yeah, this thing bad. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I tell you what, those baby frill dragons are so cute. They're so small. I, I almost didn't remember how small they are, but they are absolutely adorable. I am so excited about it. If you like this video, right here is a entire playlist that you guys can roll through of baby reptiles that we've hatched over here. Can you also do me a favor? Right up at the top over here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In every Wednesday. As a matter of fact, this coming Saturday, we have a special one, five o'clock on Saturday. I actually have myself and a uh, believe or not, ordained minister that's been doing exorcisms for 23 years on the podcast. You'll want to check that one out. Typically on Friday or Saturday, Noah also does a podcast with Eric and Bruce. Not fit friendly on that way. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.